Scorpio. This is Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana, and we're going to do something a little bit differently today. This is super simplistic, okay? Super simplistic. We are going to read these cards for your sign all the way through front to back, starting from the first one and ending with the last one, okay? All right, so if you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. So spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Scorpio with me today. And Scorpio would like to know what's good. What is the 411? What is going on in their life spirit? What is going on in their lives? And how is it that they should handle themselves? Spirit, if you can please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen in these cards to bring Scorpio the very best messages that we can about their life, what's going on, and perhaps how it is that they should handle it. Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret your messages, but to explain them to the collective of Scorpio in a way that they can apply to their lives. Spirit, Spirit, I'm going to shuffle. I'm doing things differently, Spirit. I'm going to shuffle three more times, and I'm going to pull straight from the top all the way down, Spirit. Please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to tell the story of the lives of Scorpio. One more time, Spirit, because we had some flippers there. One more time, Spirit. Please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen to bring the story of life to Scorpio. All right, Scorp, Eight of Swords, up in your mental heart. It's okay, though, because Eights are about movement, action, change, rebirth, accomplishment, success, spiritual fortitude. Eight is where we get shit done, Scorpio. So even though it is uncomfortable to be in the Eight of Swords energy, it's more of a, of a panicky feeling. See, Eight of Swords is, see, she's so consumed I don't know if y'all can see that. She's so consumed with the fact that she has she's finding herself bound and caged <laughs> that she 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 can't think far enough ahead to get out, right? Right? So she is she she's panicking. So the eight of swords energy is more of a, oh my God, what just happened and what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? That's the energy of the eight of swords. What do I do? Right? Because she's got to do something. So that's the energy of the Eight of Swords. So that's what you lead off with, Scorpio, the Eight of Swords. What do, I, what do I do? Because of the Seven of Swords, because there's some kind of betrayal and deception, shady behavior happening around you or to you, hopefully not by you, to the King of Wands and the Star card. Oh, no, no, no. I see what's going on here, Scorpio. I see breaks back up. So everything I said about the Eight of Swords is true, right? About freaking out and being in that momentary panic attack mode, right? But then you come to your senses and you start to think, how do I get out of this? How do I get out of this situation? Well, that's what you did here, Scorp. That's what you did. The Eight of Swords, this Eight of Swords is representing releasing yourself from these mental constraints, finding your way out of your situation, Releasing yourself and being open to new perspectives. This Seven of Swords, Scorpio, is not about betrayal and deception. It's about breaking free of mental challenges that were created by betrayal, deception, shady behavior. Okay? Because... You, and this is representing you. I don't care that it's a fire sign and you're a water sign. This is representing you. Because you, with the energy of the king of wands, right? Want hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in a situation. The prince of pentacles says that you have surveyed the landscape of your life. You have taken inventory of all of the loss, regret, disappointment, and despair. And you have made a judgment call. You have made a judgment call to release it, to break free from it, to bring hope, faith, and renewal into the situation. 
because you feel that it is purpose for you, Scorpio. You feel like the, your purpose in life at this point is to release the mental, break free from all of the shadiness from the past, do a little bit of self-healing because this is the purpose for you at this moment. The world card says that one cycle is ending and a new cycle is beginning. The hangman tells me that um, you have pondered for a good minute, pause, process, surrender, come out on the other side with a plan of action. What you are processing right here in this hangman energy is a tower moment. It's a tower moment moment where you had, hold up, where you either had an epiphany about, or it caused, hold on, Scorps, hold on. Okay, there it is. One more. There it is. Okay, so... What you are doing in this hangman energy is processing the events of a tower moment. You're processing the events of a tower moment. And what happened in that tower moment is that there was betrayal, deception, defeat, loss, conflict, mind games, win at all costs type of shit that went down with you and it brought crisis into your life that ended badly it ended badly crisis betrayal defeat endings and loss and this gave you some absolute or is giving you some absolute mental clarity about who your friends are, and who you spend your time with. Particularly when it comes to love. Queen of Pentacles to the Seven of Pentacles. You have put in a great deal of reflection and assessment into the motivations, the operations, and the you have put a lot of thought and time into it and you have realized that the profit and reward that the the the, <laughs> the profit and the reward for the investment that you made in this queen of pentacles yeah so you have reflected and assessed and you realize that the investment that you made into either a person representing the Queen of Pentacles, which tells me they're embedded in your life somehow, or this is about your actual home, right? Home, business, home, uh, you, even though, of course, you're not the Queen of Pentacles but you've done some reflection and some assessment. It'll clarify itself in a minute about the profit and reward that you're reaping for the investment that you're making. The emperor, when it comes to the structure and the establishment of your life. And this is the catalyst for a turning point in your life. A turning point towards either somebody that represents a king of pentacles energy which happens to be the card of taurus or this is a turning point when it comes to creating security control power discipline ambition and worldly success and it could go either way because the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles kind of represent the same thing in both ways, right? So you're either dealing with this person or this is the energy that this tower moment and all of this um, has created for you. 
nevertheless, Scorp, you are uh, looking to create uh, abundance with this, with in this situation, but you have a challenge. The challenge is engaging. The challenge is engaging with hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. And whatever this tower moment, this this massive epiphany that you've had, this this awakening that you've had, your challenge to engage with this person who I, I, I want to say is the King of Pentacles right there. Your challenge to engage with them and reunite with them and have victory, progress, and success with them because there is pain from the past. Pain from the past. The Nine of Cups says, you see them as wishes fulfilled, and you would love nothing more than to reunite and reconcile with this person. Prince of Swords says that... Um, going to take action you're going to communicate oh okay you're going to communicate you're going to communicate the the you're going to communicate how you feel this 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 epiphany that you had right here is about the broken heart and all the pain and everything that we just talked about it's the regretful but necessary transition that was made in the past with this person and you want to talk about it you want to talk about what happened in the past you want to talk about what happened in the past and you want to talk about repairing this relationship and making a commitment Two of Pentacles says that you are balancing and prioritizing this whole situation. You have dealt with your repressed emotions with the Two of Swords. The Princess of Wands says that you have a sense of enthusiasm, exploration, discovery. Ace of Wands, you're going to take some inspired, passionate action to have a new beginning. Happiness, vitality, and success is what you see. And justice is what you feel. To the Ten of Pentacles, you feel like this is something that you can take to the bank and build your legacy on and with. Ace of Pentacles comes in and says you are manifesting a brand new opportunity. And in your feelings, let's see, in your feelings to the Nine of Swords, in the princess of pentacles and the death hold up score i'm sewing it together death of okay all right all right i see i see i see so in your feelings with the king of cups you are coming out of the nine of swords with this decision and the King of Cups represents going from emotional volatility and moodiness to emotional balance and control as you come out of this Nine of Swords energy, as you come out of the anxiety and the despair, right? Nines, just like the eights that we talked about, nines are about fruition and attainment. It's not a coincidence that this card is number nine. Numerology is attached to all of it. This card is a number nine because when we are up at night, racking our brains and rubbing our heads, trying to figure a situation out, that's where we get shit done right? So as painful as it may be to be in the Nine of Swords, the next step from the Nine of Swords is the Ten of Swords. That is the execution of what you are coming to in the Nine of Swords, right? But it's, it doesn't have to be the Ten of Swords, but that's what I'm saying, the progression of the Nine of Swords. So you're formulating it. Over here, you're like, what the fuck? Right here, you're like, what do I do about this? How do I change the discomfort that I have right here? And the Ten of Swords is the change, right? It's either an ending or it's resurrection. And um, 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 what, what the hell? I'm drawing a blank here. It's either recovery and regeneration, resurrection, right? So all good in your feels. 
coming out of the Nine of Swords energy, going into the Princess of Pentacles, the manifestation mode, manifestation mode. This whole, all this Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords, all this bullshit from the past coming to an end. And there is going to be a transformation in this relationship because you have released your limiting beliefs, your limiting beliefs being what you worked out in the eight of swords, what you worked out in the nine of swords, and most importantly, what you worked out in the tower. Okay. Those were your limiting beliefs and you have released those. Now you want an alignment of values, happiness, and harmony. Now you want to take the energy of any kind of conflict and spin that shit around towards an increased focus on goals. To the Empress and the Three of Wands and the Four of Cups. Hold up, Scorps. I'm sewing it together here. And the Queen of Cups. And the Two of Wands. Okay. And the Princess of Swords. Okay. So what you're doing here is increase focus on your goals, right? Done with all the conflict, right? The Empress. to the three of wands. You are having foresight. You are planning as to how you are going to go about getting what you want. And the Empress is either representing the abundance that you want to create or the Empress is representing this King of Pentacles right here, the card of Taurus, the card of Taurus, right? Four of Cups says much contemplation is going into this. You're preparing and you're thinking about it a lot. What you're thinking about is how you're going to handle yourself with the Queen of Cups, how you're going to handle your feelings. To the Two of Wands, you are making decisions and doing some discovery to the Princess of Swords, formulating a decision-making process. To deliver a message of creation. Queen of Swords to the King. Oh, okay. A message of creation, right? You're formulating a, a process by which you're going to deliver the, a message of creation, creating something with this King of Pentacles Empress person. The Queen of Swords comes in to the King of Swords. This talks about y'all being the king and queen of swords to each other instead of the king and queen of cups to each other, right? So the, the, the message that's coming in is being delivered to one of these and from one of these, okay? Take the position. If you're the queen of swords delivering to the king of swords, great. If you're the king of swords delivering to the queen of swords, great. But either way, this represents the the coldness and the conflict that's been between the two of you. And it takes strength, right? It takes a lot of strength for you to come to the queen or king of swords as the king or queen of swords, right? Y'all have just been just, I mean, I just don't see the queen and king of swords snuggling each other, right? I mean, look at that. Do you see any snuggling going on here? I don't see any snuggling going on here at all. That's the energy. It's going to take a lot of strength, Scorpio. And you got you, you have the spiritual fortitude to do it because you're hitting the hermit. You're hitting the hermit. You're doing some soul searching, some introspection, seeking some inner guidance and gaining some knowledge about how you are going to act on your feelings with the Prince of Cups. Communication with the Eight of Wands. Woo, it's been a struggle and a burden, but you see accomplishment at the end here. You see accomplishment at the end. And in your heart of heart, Scorpio, you're hoping that it's not just wishful thinking. You're hoping that there's no need for you to feel self-protective because what you really want is a new beginning and a new journey. You want a new beginning and a new journey and you want success. 
with this Queen of Wands, who used to be the King of Pentacles and the Empress, okay? You see the gaining of this relationship as achievement with this Queen of Wands right here. You see this person as achievement with the Queen of Wands. You see this person as somebody that is going to elevate you in life. To the Ace of Cups, lots of feels, lots of emotion, wanting all kinds of teamwork and collaboration, right? All kinds of teamwork and collaboration. To the Nine of Wands, this Nine of Wands talks to me about um, your courageousness, your courageousness, right? To to bring forward this message, to 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 do what you're getting ready to do here. The moon card talks about fear and anxiety, right? Fear and anxiety to the nine of pentacles, culmination to the high priestess, the four of swords, the eight of cups, alchemist, and then the chariot. Okay. Okay. Courage, right? It took a lot of freaking courage to do this, Scorpio. To the moon. Let me figure this out. The moon. The moon. Oh, 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 oh. You struggle with your subconscious mind, though. You struggle with your subconscious mind because you're a Scorpio and you hold on to everything forever, right? This struggling with your subconscious mind is you visiting, revisiting all of the pain and the conflict and the sorrow and the heartbreak and the grief, right? It's you going back there again and revisiting that. And against your better judgment, I kind of feel like it's saying, against your better judgment, you want this relationship. And your better judgment being your own self though, Scorpio, your better judgment being, well, I was burned once or maybe twice, three times, four times, who knows, but I was burned by this once before, but here I am going right back to it to give it one last go round. That is struggling with your subconscious mind in that moon card. Four of Swords says you contemplating it. You contemplating it, contemplating it, contemplating it. And the Nine of Pentacles says that reaching down into the High Priestess brings a culmination to your revisiting of, of your sensibilities, okay? So the High Priestess is you checking yourself one last time before you go forward. Eight of Cups, you're checking yourself one last time just to make sure that this is something that you want to revisit. Because you walked away once before, or they walked away from you. The alchemist says, yes, yes it is. Yes, yes it is, and you are going to manifest it. You're going to go forward with it. You are going to create it in your life. And the chariot says, action forward. Action forward, movement, rolling in hard, rolling in hard. And you're going to give this one last try. One last try. You know why? Because it's important enough and significant enough in your life. It had that much of an impact on you, Scorpio, that you cannot head out down the road of your life and not give it one more chance. And there you go, Scorp. That was your reading start to finish. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to hit me up at deepthoughtswithdana.com, I can hook you up. Right on. Namaste.